Hello and welcome along. Today I've been asked by a friend, a dear friend, to connect in with my spirit guide, my mantis spirit guide, and to bring in a message at this time that will best serve our highest good at this time. And I also have questions that I will ask during this session. I have set up a safe space, connected into the source of love, Mother Gaia below, invited in my guides and my higher self, source and Gaia. Done my energy clearing. I'm now a clear channel. And I would like my mantis guide to step forwards, please. Her name is Marita. Marita, please step forwards. Thank you. And I just see her now stepping forwards into to my awareness. She's very tall. It is very unusual for humans to connect with mantis beings. And she's a very curious deep and intense, yet very loving, very affectionate energy. And she's just looking down at me just now, like putting her head down close to mine. And she's asking if I, if I remember her. Yes, I remember you. I remember you, Marita. And she's saying that she knows I've been nervous about channeling with her because I had a fear and nervousness that we were so different that it's difficult, that it would be difficult to channel her. And yet we have spoken many times. And so she's just reassuring me, saying, remember, John, we've worked many times together and this is just the same. It is just the next step. And she's thanking my, my dear friend for requesting this, this video and encouraging me to step out of my comfort zone. And yes, Marita, please step forwards, my mantis guide, to channel through me at this time. And we ask for messages that will help all of the collective at this time, all of this planet at this time, for their highest good. Every voice matters. Every soul is important. As we are all one soul of this universe, it is important to listen, to really listen, to reflect and hold space for the voice of every soul. The founding principles of the mantis race include unity and yet equal respect for every single individual living thing. And nothing is excluded from this. It is very easy for us to be lost in the moment of fear and yet we get a choice with every emotion as we feel that energy rise in us. We can choose to allow it to be rejected by us, ejected by us and released back out, out of us, out with our field, our energy, our auric fields. Return it to sender, return it to source, or never to return to us again. To reject the fear injection. And this is a practice that never ends. Because 
we are all human in the respect that we have emotions that we don't always feel are our own. But when we feel them rise up in us, we have the chance, the opportunity to make a decision about how we react. And this is so important in our choices. So the next time you feel that fear, that anxiety rise up in you, catch it, hold it, hold it in your heart for a single nanosecond. Put your focus and your consciousness around it with a golden bubble. Ask yourself, is this mine? And if it isn't yours, eject it out. Eject that bubble out of your sphere, out of your energy, out into the world, sending it to source, to sender, or never to return here again. If it is your fear, if it is your anxiety, hold it for a moment longer. Hold space for it. And remember that you are a reflection of this whole planet, this whole universe. Whatever you choose to do next with this emotion is your choice. And know that whatever you choose is then reflected both within you and outside of you. This reality is a reflection of your emotions. And as you hold space for that fear and anxiety, remember that you have love and compassion, these emotions that are even more powerful than fear and anxiety. And so soak and drench your emotions with forgiveness, with self-love, with compassion, with unconditional love, and see what's left as you see this golden ball of energy initially filled with fear and anxiety gradually melting and shrinking. At the very core of it, you will see the root cause. And this is your shadow work. It is the inner work you have to do next to face why do these fears come up. For John, sometimes he has such a beautiful start to his day, creating in his studio, creating in his bubble, such beauty and such magic. And when he steps outside of that bubble into the human world, even around his friends and family, Sometimes these emotions cause triggers and they rise in him. And it's a practice for John to rise and catch them, to catch these emotions and to seek out the core wounding behind them. For it is this inner work that we do, often related to self-love, to be able to hold that calm and that love and that high vibration excitement in any present moment is so important. This, no matter what happens in this world, will allow us to seamlessly transition into our highest good, our highest timeline, this inner work. And so we invite you all at this time to do this, to practice this. And so it is. I'm just allowing my mentor's guide to step out. Thank you, Marita. Um, <laughs> it was so incredible. And thank you so much for requesting this channeling. I'm just bringing this session to a close. Archangel Michael, please return to source and never return here again. Thank you. And if you have any requests for me to channel from any of my guides or any other galactic races, or to find out more about different planets or anything in the universe, just let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for this magical adventure, and I hope this finds you well. Sending my love from Scotland. I love you.